there are many ways for you to learn the manual or human QA skill set as well as the automation or aesthetic QA skill set for any budget. So now you have no excuse for not entering the field. I hear too many times, I can't afford it. I just, I'll wait till next year. No, you have no more excuses. With this video, I will break down the different ways for you to learn a skill set, including boot camps, universities, being self taught or with courses. And you may be asking, but test lead, aren't you biased? Yes, I'm biased for all three. I now have two college degrees. I consult and teach at boot camps as an instructor. And I know people who are currently on a self taught route. I want to eventually build a community for those people, but that's something later down the road for a separate video. I will break down each option and cover the details about the learning option, the price range, time range, and who that option might be best for. And if you do choose a paid route for learning the material, make sure you do your due diligence and research before investing your money. Because you guys email me all the time saying these horror stories. So I'll make a separate video about what to look out for because if you're investing your money, you should never feel pressured into your decision. They're trying to rush you to make an emotional decision. With me, I don't really support that. But like I said, that's a separate video, it's a separate rant because I don't want you guys investing your money and not getting the outcomes that you're looking for. So stay tuned for that video, probably coming right after this one, because I have a lot to say about that. And my bad for getting sidetracked because I get real emotional about some of the things that I hear from you guys and what you guys go through. So just in short, if it seems too good to be true, investigate it, make sure it's valid. Now back to our topic. First, let's discuss the self-taught and courses route. With the self-taught route, you'll be responsible for what you learn and when you'll learn it, which is pretty cool. You get to make your own curriculum and schedule. So you have a lot of flexibility in your learning. So if you're somebody who's busy, not much time daily, you can dedicate maybe a half an hour a day to your learning. And then eventually you'll learn everything. Or if you have all the time in the world, if you're unemployed or young, you can cram everything probably within a month and learn the full skill set. For this option, I suggest you create an outline and schedule for yourself. You can use free websites like YouTube, books, or courses to help the self-taught route. And remember, I say you can learn this for free. YouTube is free. I have a hundred plus videos talking about both manual and automation testing. You can mix and match the videos and get a basic understanding about the space. You then have books. But test lead, books cost money. Get a library card, go to your local library, and get a book. And remember, I said self-taught and courses. Courses are by no means required. If anybody tells you different, they're just trying to sell you a dream. But courses can be beneficial. First off, they give you structure, a curriculum, and all information in one place. Once again, the internet is huge. So you picking through the internet for all this different free information can become overwhelming, especially if you have a busy schedule. Courses do that for you. They give you a curriculum and tell you all the information you need to know. So you're not searching the internet for it, especially because the internet sometimes has unreliable sources. Hopefully, 
if you're paying for a course, you're paying for it from a reliable source. So you're not questioning all the information. Courses can be found anywhere on the internet. Being transparent, the most affordable ones are usually on places like Udemy. We have to be careful because some of those courses are really old and may be outdated. But still, they fit your budget, go get them. They usually have thousands of reviews with those courses, go ahead. I also offer courses on my website. So whatever best fits you, go do it. If you have questions about my courses, email me, ask away. If you're investing your money, I want you to get the most out of it. So ask as many questions as you want with my course, somebody else's course, any bootcamp, anything that you're paying for, ask a million questions. And if the person or bootcamp or college doesn't want to answer the questions or they're giving you vague answers, that should be a red flag for you. But now it's not all peachy with the self-taught route. The key here is you have to be disciplined. I know many people who have started the self-taught route and they said, yeah, perfect. I'll get the flexibility. But then they say, okay, I'll start it tomorrow. I'll start it next week. I'll start it next month. I'll start it next year. And they keep just pushing it off longer and longer. So make sure if you want to do a self-taught route, you be real with yourself and say, hey, am I actually going to be disciplined enough for this? Because you have that freedom to, should I study this or have this excuse for why I can't study this or this distraction? So once again, just be real with yourself. You know you better than anybody else. Now for the price range. Once again, you can learn everything completely free on the internet. And if you decide to go to course route, they get up to usually about $1,000. Next, the time range. Because this option is completely self-paced, the time range depends completely on you. If you are a fast learner, you can probably learn everything in under a month. If you are busy and want to take it slow, it can take a few months. Now I may be asking, well, who's this option best for? One, people want the flexibility of having a self-paced option. Two, people who it fits their budget. They don't want to invest a lot of money into it, so they either go the free route or the cheaper route, which is courses. And third, most importantly, people who are actually going to be dedicated and disciplined enough to follow through with it. Quick break. If you're finding this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. I offer books, programs, and courses to help you on your journey. Now, back to the video. Now let's talk about boot camps. Boot camps have become the newest big thing the last couple of years. Back when I was first learning information, they weren't really a thing. But now there's new boot camps popping up every year, every month, every day it feels like. And in short, boot camps are like trade schools where they're teaching you a certain skill set in a condensed manner. Whereas normal colleges or universities teach you a skill set but also have general education classes. So boot camps kind of say no. We don't care about the general education stuff. We're focused on teaching you the skill set. They have both in person and online options. So whichever option you're more comfortable with, you can find a bootcamp to support it, which is perfect for people who are used to the more traditional forms of learning. Like legit in a bootcamp for in person, you could be in a classroom how you were when you were in undergrad 
or a high school or other learning atmospheres. So if you want that, a boot camp may be for you. Also with boot camps, you get the live instructor, which I feel is kind of important because if I have a question, I can ask an instructor, hey, I don't understand that. Can you please elaborate more and get a real time answer? Next, with boot camps, you get to network because it's not just you in a class and boot camps. It's you and maybe 10, 20, or 30 other people who have the same goal as you. And you can make friends and network with them to say, okay, maybe if you get a job here and they like you, they can say, where did that person learn information from? And maybe come back to you and you get connected. Also, good boot camps have an alumni system where their graduates or alumni work in places. They can connect you to help you get interviews for those places as well. Some boot camps also have other perks, such as an internship as part of their boot camp, which in theory is a good concept because it helps people get real experience. However, make sure the internship is with a real company. You should be able to Google search, look up, and see information about the company that you're interning with. That way, making sure they're actually legit and valid, and you can place them on your resume for when you're applying to jobs. Because if you say internship on your resume, and I'm interviewing you, and I say, wait, hold on, what company is this that you interviewed with? And I find out that that's not a real company, I'm gonna think that you're trying to just mislead me and lie to me, and I will immediately discontinue from interviewing with you. Also make sure that length is an appropriate size. Honestly speaking, it'll take you at least two to four weeks to get used to a new company. So if you have a boot camp that's a couple of days, what are you actually learning and getting out of that? But like I said, I'll create a separate video about scams and what to look out for for these learning options. But for right now, just do your homework and research things. So any boot camp that's offering an internship for less time may not be any actual value for you. The price range. Boot camps can range in prices from $1,000 to upward of $12,000. I wouldn't suggest going into crazy debt for a boot camp. Honestly speaking, if you can't afford most of it out of pocket, I would suggest that maybe you start the self-taught route, maybe get a side job, save up some money for a while, and then try to invest that money into learning your skill set. And you may be asking, well, why? I don't want you having to pay back crazy loans for thousands of dollars and you're searching for a job for months and you're not making money and then you're just digging a deeper and deeper hole. Time range. Boot camps usually last between three months and nine months, depending on if it's manual or automation and if they offer any other perks. I feel this option is best for people who need that structure and accountability. If you know yourself and say, hey, if I'm not investing a lot of money and have a curriculum and class time set for me, I'm not going to do it. This option may be what you need. Next, people who want a live instructor to ask questions to. Boot camps give you that. And last but not least, as I mentioned prior, people who can actually afford it. And last but not least, let's talk about universities and college. This is the most traditional approach to learning anything. Unfortunately, most universities won't have a degree or a specialty for QA. And may be thinking, well, what do I do? And why are you suggesting it? I suggest you get a degree in computer science. But why? That's not QA. Computer science will teach you about coding. Coding will lead you to 
automation. And here's the thing, with a computer science degree, you can be a QA person, a software developer, as well as get other tech jobs. So by getting this degree, you have more options once you finish. And the other thing is, a lot of jobs do still require a degree. So by having one on your resume, that can separate you from other people. If you are young still, personally, I'll suggest this route for you. Because one, it's a long route, it takes a lot of time. Two, it gives you more options once you graduate. And more importantly, it's what you learn and develop outside the classroom. Because yes, you'll learn a lot in the actual class, but actually being at a college and meeting other people and developing and socializing, you can't put a price on that, especially if you're young in your life. Personally, I saw the most development and learned a lot of lifelong lessons and even met lifelong friends back when I was in college. The price range, colleges can range from 5,000 to 100 plus thousand, depending on its location, prestige, and if it's a two year or four year degree. Room and board, books, and meal plans add to that price greatly. I would suggest possibly going to a local accredited two year college first, and then after that, complete your other two years at a university. Time range. Colleges usually have two to four year programs. Sometimes it may take people extra time to obtain all the credits. Who's this best for? In my opinion, people who are young, obviously people who can afford it. I don't want you going six figures into debt to learn something not in today's world. And people who want more options for themselves after they graduate. So, whichever option you choose, make sure you tell yourself and remind yourself often that it's a journey. You will not be learning everything in one day or even one week for that matter. Take it day by day and set realistic goals and timelines for yourself. If you want a video just like this, please click here. If you want to see my latest video, please click here. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.